What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another low level class progression guide for Modern Warfare 2. This is the series where I showcase the best attachments for a weapon starting from level 1 all the way up to max level. Today we will be going over the brand new weapon for season 2, the ISO Handlocks progression and the best possible class at the end. Let's get started. Let's begin with the field upgrade where in this case we will be using the munitions box which you get very early at rank 16 and battle rage which you get at rank 24. If you're doing this after level 51 then dead silence is also an option instead of battle rage. In this case let's stick to battle rage because you get it at a way earlier level then for the perks we will be using battle hardened scavenger fast hands and ghost you unlock ghost at level 52 so if you don't have it yet then i highly recommend you use the phantom perk package then for our lethal we will be using drill charge it's one of the best lethals in the game and you get it very early and it really helps when somebody's camping behind a wall you can just throw this at that wall and there will be no more then for our tactical we'll be using stim because every time that you finish up a gunfight it's really nice to just be able to heal up and get to the next gunfight at full health. You get stims at rank 29, so if you don't have it yet, then just use a stun grenade or a flash grenade. They are very good in this game. Then for a secondary, you can really just use whatever you want here, but I do highly prefer the X12 at the moment, that is, with a Kimbo, the 1 milliwatt pistol laser, and the XRK V6 match trigger action. So now what we came here for, the ISO hemlock, let's see what we start out with, and that is at level 2, this stock that you don't want to use, so we skip to level 3, where we unlock the RCQ7 barrel. This barrel will help with our end on sight speed, our hip recoil control, which honestly is not that important, and the movement speed, which is very nice to have. It'll hurt the recoil control just a little bit, but don't worry, we'll be fixing that. So at level 3, the RCQ7 barrel. Then at level 4, we will be unlocking the 20 round magazine. This is one of those weapons that it could actually be beneficial if you want it, then use it. I don't really recommend it. 30 rounds is a great thing to have. So we skip it until level 5, where you unlock the optics. If you have a good optic that you want to use, then go ahead you don't have to because the iron sights in this weapon are actually really good so i will be ignoring it most optics hurt your aim down sight speed by about 10 milliseconds so if you want to use them go ahead if you're willing to do that then at level six we get a pretty nice grip the x10 grip will help with the spring to fire speed the aim down sight speed and it'll hurt our recoil control but this weapon has really good recoil control so level six x10 grip up to now all that we've been doing is hurting our recoil control but at level seven we get a really good muzzle the cronin op44 muzzle It'll mainly help with our vertical recoil control and a little bit with a horizontal recoil control, but this will basically nullify all the things that we did to hurt our recoil with the other attachments. So at level 7, put on the Cronin OP44 muzzle. Then at level 8, we unlock the Series 4 MR barrel. This is an attachment that you really want to put on. It's my favorite barrel whenever I'm creating a native ISO handlock. That's because it helps with the recoil control, which is very nice to have, especially when you don't have any other fancy attachments that you can put on from other guns. So at level 8, put on the Series 4 MR barrel. Then we skip level 9 because the under barrels hurt our aim down sight speed way too much for no reason. And then at level 10, put on a laser if you have one. I highly recommend the FSSO LEV laser if you have it or the Schlager Peck Box 4 if you have it. If you don't, don't worry, skip it. We're gonna be skipping it here, but if you have any of those two, put them on. Then at level 11, we'll be unlocking the Arcom S4 stock. This is by far the best stock at this level because it helps with your sprinting speed, your aim walking speed, your crouching movement speed, which honestly that one doesn't matter much but your aim down sight speed is increased and it barely hurts your recoil control so it's very useful so at level 11 our comments for stock and now once you look at this progression tree there's really nothing else that you really want to put on here at all up until you get to level 20 where we unlock the raid 90 stock this stock is even better than the previous because it doesn't hurt our aiming stability while giving us better benefits than the r comments for so at level 20 put on the raid 90 stock and now if we look at the progression there's really nothing else that you want to put on here that's any better than what you currently have for a native ISO hemlock up until level 27 when we get the weapon tuning. And now for the tuning, we'll begin with the muzzle where on the left hand side we want to put the weight down to negative 0.44 ounces for our aim down side speed and then on the bottom side we want to increase the length to plus 0.20 inches for our gun kit control which is just visual recoil. For the barrel on the left hand side we want to increase the weight up to plus 0.27 pounds to help out with a recoil even more than before and then on the bottom side we want to decrease the length to negative 0.15 inches to help with our end down sight speed then for the stock on the left hand side we want to increase the weight to plus 0.77 ounces to help with our aim walking steadiness which is very useful as you strafe and you shoot at the same time so we want to help that a little bit don't worry about the bottom there's nothing to do here with the length and then finally for the rear grip we want to decrease the weight to negative 0.58 ounces to help with our end down sight speed because we have heard it a few times here and then on the bottom side decrease the width to negative 0.30 inches 
inches. This will help with our sprint to fire speed, which is very nice to have when you get caught off guard. And now this is the best hemlock that you're going to be building here from level one all the way up to max, including the tuning. And as you can see in the range, this is a very easy weapon to control. The only issue here is after the first about 10 rounds, it goes to the right just a little bit, but you can easily count and control that at the end. So you just get used to that. Very easy to beam people at long ranges here. Very nice to have, decent aim down sight speed, and very good recoil. Let me know if you like the class in the comments down below. And now let's move on to the best hemlock possible, keeping in mind that the raw data is not available yet for this weapon. So this is the best possible class that I could come up with without any hard data. Later on, as the data comes out, I'll be able to make an even better one. So now let's begin with the muzzle with the second Tread 40. This muzzle helps our vertical recoil control an insane amount, and it helps a lot with that little bit of horizontal recoil after the first 10 bullets. So far, this is the best muzzle that I found for it. Then we're not going to be putting on a barrel here. We're going to be skipping to the laser where we want to put on the FSS OLEV laser. That is, if you don't mind having a beam whenever you aim down sight that others can see. If you do mind, then you put on the Schlager Pack Box 4, but I will be putting on the FSS OLEV laser. For the optic, I do and really enjoy the iron sights, but the Slimline Pro is even better for me. And because we do have a laser here, it doesn't really hurt our aim down sight speed that much. You won't feel it. Then for the stock, we want to go with a Raid 90 stock, mainly because it helps with our aim down sight speed a great amount, while it doesn't really hurt us too much. And then lastly, for the rear grip, the second ZX grip is the best one that we can possibly put on because it helps with our recoil control and it doesn't hurt our aim down sight speed. And now for the tuning, we begin with the muzzle where we increase the weight on the left hand side to plus 0.28 ounces. This will help with the recoil stabilization a great deal, and that way you'll have to control that little bit of horizontal recoil control a lot less at the end. On the bottom side, we want to increase the length to positive 0.10 inches for our gun kit control, which is your visual recoil. Then for the laser, we want to increase on the left hand side the weight to plus 0.34 ounces to help with their aim walking steadiness, which really just means that as you strafe, you'll be able to hit your shots easier as you're shooting because recoil is affected by steadiness. Then on the bottom side, we want to decrease the zero in distance to about negative 20 feet, in this case, 19.74 feet. This will help with our aim down sight speed without hurting our recoil. Then for the optic, all we want to do is move the slider all the way up to far for the eye position. That way you can lower your visual recoil as much as possible. Then for the stock, we want to increase the weight on the left hand side to positive 0.77 ounces. Once again, it'll help with our aim walking steadiness, which helps with a recoil as you strafe. On the bottom side, we don't really want to do anything here. Don't worry about it. Lastly, for our rear grip, we want to increase the weight on the left hand side to positive 0.65 ounces to help with a recoil steadiness. Recoil on this weapon is already very good, but what if it's even better? Then on the bottom side, decrease the width to negative 0.28 inches to help with our sprint to fire speed. Very important when you get caught off guard. And this is the best possible hemlock that you could build right now without really having the data mine data for it. And there's barely anything to control for your recoil. So it's very, very nice while you're aiming down. Sight speed is not much at all. So this is super easy to control. You just have to worry about the last few bullets there at the end. Whereas you can see it's super easy to control. So have fun with this class, the best hemlock. Let me know if you liked it on the comments down below. And now I want to show you a little bit of gameplay so you can see the hemlock in action. All right, we're in True House playing Hardpoint right now with the best version of the low level hemlock. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully these people are all right. They're not too easy to play against. And so far it's looking that way. I do want a good game for you guys to watch. Uh, nobody here. Wait, it's not there. Oh, he's here. That's where he was. I was wondering, I'm gonna run. Oh gosh, I'm dead. Oh no. Yeah, I'm alive. Okay, we're good. Gotta be one that pops out of here, most likely. That's not where I thought he would be. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. He's not up there anymore. Oh, uh, he's here though. No one here. Oh, wait. That's not a dead body. He tricked me. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. oh, there you are. I don't know if he saw me. He probably did, yeah. Keep put, keeps putting down bouncing buddies. Kind of hurtful, really. Thought this would be a closer game. I was wrong. Somebody to my left here. Yep. Oh, not the flash. I don't like the flash. Ooh, I saw somebody there too. I don't like it. There's just too many. There was one to the right. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, maybe, just maybe, I include another game here. I think I will, because 
This game is not what I th thought it would be. Let's do another one after this. There's two people on the enemy team that I, that I don't really like encountering, and one of them has a sniper, the other one has a vector. Both very good weapons, as you can imagine. The one up there. I'm gonna die here. Okay. Well, I see you. But that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for that teammate. Oh, hello. What the heck? There you are. She doesn't aim this way. I killed her before from this side, and she just doesn't, like, think that I would stay there. Oh, you're dead. Got you. Whoa. No, no, no. I don't want to die like that. Yeah, I got his ass. Our point, our win. Oh, you're here. Wait, you run away? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. That guy's dead already, so I'm not even gonna... It's gonna stay on the point. Let's win it. Come on, team. Let's see. We got one win. Let's see if the next one can be a loss. I don't actually want it to be a loss, but I just want it to be a good game. I want to show y'all this beautiful weapon here. Yep, there's the win. Easy game. I hate that I'm even saying that. We'll do another one. Don't worry about it. I'll get you a way more exciting one. Let's have fun here. Okay, here we are. Domination and shoot house. Hopefully this game is better than the last one. Let's try to get B. Ooh, okay. This was already hurt, because usually one headshot wouldn't do it. Now that I'm trying to get B here. Okay, so he's still there, but he's crouching. Yeah, that was good. That was a good strat there. I know there's one guy here. Yep, he didn't he didn't think I would be there. Gotcha. Ooh. There you are. A little bit more exciting than the last one. Here. She thought I was gonna pop out of this side. She couldn't have been more wrong. Might as well get A if we're already here. Oh, behind! And in the front, just from both ends. At once? That's messed up, actually. I feel like that should be illegal in a few states. I think he moved, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Blow that up. Use a stem charge, hopefully not get chased. Yep, we're good. Battle Rage. I need to survive a little bit longer. I don't know, you're here. I saw you on the recon drone. Yep, you didn't see that coming, did you? Okay, I gotta be careful here from behind. Nobody's here. Oh, no. He knows that I'm here now. Oh, jumping doesn't work in this game, my guy. At least not as well as in the other games. Ooh, almost got... You're not there either. Ooh, ooh. That's the one thing about using the iron sights. If you're aiming a little bit too high, you won't be able to see anybody that's under you. Okay, wait. Where, where, where are you going? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Why did it get stunned, too? There's a guy here to the left. Yep. He thought. How's he gonna do that without ghosts, you know? Gotta be one here. There is. I just saw him. Jumping. You too. Let's go with a recon drone. Woo. Go out. Got you. Got you too. Stand up here for a second. Probably get my health back. He didn't see that coming. Uh, run, quick. There we go. A few headshots here. And there. Easy game. You know how it goes? Yeah, that's how it goes. Let's get B. Alright. Another kill. I know you're- Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, no. Stop. Ah. God, I hate that thing. But I thought they would stay in that building. Guess I was wrong. Okay, he ran away. No, he didn't. Never mind. I'm a liar. I got the gunship. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> flick, flick. Beep, boop. Bop. Bam. Woo. All right. We win. So that's the hemlock. I hope you enjoyed. I got the final kill cam, so let's watch it. If you like this gun as much as I do, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. I will out. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another low level class. And now I want to show you a little bit of gameplay so that you can.